What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups. In this video we are talking about GameStop's Pro Membership card in 2020 and what that means for you. So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so first off, I want to mention, yes, everything behind me is totally changed. You guys can tell not everything is back on the shelves. Over here, you can tell there's actually new shelves. Sadly, they're a little bit shorter, but we're not going to talk about that. Today, just, I mean, I couldn't find the shelves that match these, and these were more sturdy, so I went with them. Um, I think that'll be great whenever I have more room along this way. Um, I'll put more shelves eventually and then I think that step down will just will just work well uh, for videos and all kinds of stuff so I will say yes I am currently in the process of uh, going back through and re putting all the stuff on the shelves I'll show you guys some footage of that there's games over here there's games over here there's games literally on the ground here lining around me but for this video, I wanted to take some time and talk about GameStop. And it's 2020 now, and what they're doing with their Pro Membership, and what that means for me, someone who had their Elite Pro Membership, and then got downgraded to their Pro Membership, and now it's 2020, and I'm thinking about not even having my Pro Membership at all. What does that mean, and why is that happening? Well. GameStop has recently, uh, they announced it probably like six or eight months ago. They were talking about kind of trying this out, and then if it worked well, they would go on forward with that. Well, apparently it worked well for them, and they're rolling out with this new program. And really, if you're a pro member already, you didn't really have a choice. You just got to go along with it, and you're kind of screwed. But I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit. First off, let's state what kind of has happened. So the pro membership was about $15 a year, uh, depending on where you were. You would get basically the membership and you would get either a digital or a physical copy of their magazine Game Informer, which is all right. It's not a bad deal for 12 issues for a year. I mean, 15 bucks isn't that bad if you only solely want it for that. However, if you use it for the GameStop rewards program, you were getting 10% off on uh, games. If they were used, you would get 10% off. You would get trade-in credit extra, uh, like 10%. And then when they did deals and whatnot, you would get more percentage off on certain things or more trade-in credit or whatever it was during that time whenever they had a deal. But now that's all going away and that's all changing and that's no fun. And it's nothing we can really do about it, and I think there's a few things that need to be talked about in this video about what that means to me as a GameStop user or cu customer, I guess is probably the right word. But they've changed this model up. So basically you pay the $15 a year, still that price is staying the same from what I understand, but instead of getting 10% off whenever you come in and trade credit and all that stuff, you just get a $5 gift certificate for each day or for each month of the year. So that's 12 different $5 gift certificates, which equal $60. Now, th this is good probably for GameStop. If they just marketed it like this from the get go, it was something new. I think people would kind of use this and it could be beneficial, but I think it needed to be totally separate from the pro membership because. Basically, I went from getting 10% off used games to only being able to save $5 a month. Well, that works out for GameStop because if I have a pro membership card, I'm going to want to go in and use that $5 every month, whether it's January, February, June, July, whether it's November, December, doesn't matter. I have five bucks to spend if I still have that pro membership. So. That means I'm going to have to get off the couch, get into my car, and drive to the GameStop, check it out after work, go with some friends, whatever I want to do to get in this GameStop store. They're using this to get customers in the door 
once every month, which probably will boost their sales. But I also think this could be a bad thing because all their revenue is based on uh, used sales. I want to say the figures are like 80 to 85 percent of their profit or revenue is generated from used games. So when they do this and take away that 10 percent, they're stymieing or uh, causing harm to their um, used game sales, which is not good for GameStop. GameStop makes their money selling used games. Like, that's all there is. They don't make money off of new games. They don't make money off of consoles. They probably don't make too much money off of merch either. But here we are. Their bread and butter is used games, and they are taking that away from the pro member because they are only getting $5 off a month which equates to $60 a year instead of that 10% off every game or whatever it is if it's trade credit all that kind of stuff so what does that mean for GameStop let's talk about the GameStop in my area and kind of what it's done uh, in the past like say three four months and then we'll talk about what the future is for GameStop now right now the the GameStop about five minutes of a car ride away has half a store of games and half a store of like computers and Xbox Ones and PS4s, Pros and Xbox One Xs and Nintendo Switches that you and I can go in and play it. I can put, pick a game, sit down and play it for however long. As long as they're still open, I can be in there playing it. Right now, it's totally free. Now in the future, it'll probably cost, but we're not talking about that yet. So they have monitors uh hooked up it's it's most of the time it's one monitor um and there's like a keyboard and a mouse and there's controllers that plug in and there's a switch dock there they spent a ton of money the pcs that they had were alienware they have ps4 pros they have xbox one x's like i mentioned they spent a lot of money in that gamestop alone i'm guessing they spent probably $250,000 renovating this GameStop. Maybe more, maybe less. I'm just assuming it's a quarter of a million dollars. So they're spending money, pouring money into this place, but they're also taking away their store um, ability to sell things. The whole store right now is half games and half um, back in the back where you can play it. Now, the whole store used to be all games, then it became half Think Geek, half good, uh, half GameStop, and now it's just kind of a half GameStop, half kind of hang out place. So I think that could potentially harm them because, yes, with the five dollars a month, you're getting people in there, you're probably getting them to spend some money, but you're not probably going to get the amount of volume that you would beforehand. Now I'm going to have to go in there and say, okay, I got five bucks to spend. Can I find a $10 game and only buy it for ten for $5? Or do I spend $30 and get a $35 game? It just depends on what I'm looking for. And I don't know if I'm really willing to do that. I'm probably not going to want to do that, to be honest. So the future of GameStop. So here we are, we talked about how the GameStop in my area is set up, and there's a bunch of them around my area that are set up like this. I've been to a few of them, and I think they're gonna have problems. I think they've dumped way too much money into this, and I don't think that GameStop is gonna be able to recuperate that cost. Now, I did hear rumors that they would start charging gamers to play there, which I think is kind of a joke. I don't think gamers are going to want to go there and play. But there is one thing that could potentially help GameStop in this aspect. Babysitting. GameStop will essentially be a babysitter for parents. What they'll do is say, hey, I'm going to this Walmart to shop for an hour. I'm going to drop my kids off here, pay 20 bucks, and have a hassle-free time um, going into this Walmart and shopping. But you know what's going to happen? Those GameStop employees are going to have to deal with that kid. They're going to spend probably too much time dealing with them. And they're probably going to spend too much time and take away from the actual customers trying to buy games. 
So GameStop could definitely run into an issue there if parents decide, hey, I can drop my kid off here for an hour, two hours, three hours, and just leave them there, and they could probably use that for a free or a cheap babysitter. So I think GameStop could potentially do well with this, but they've got to market it the proper way. I don't think right now the way that they're marketing it will make them any money. I don't think that's going to succeed for them, and I think they're probably going to run out of money. Now, I talked to a co-worker about this today, and I told him, I think GameStop will go out this year. 2020 is the year that I think GameStop is going to go out of business. And I say that, and I really don't want that to happen, but I see them dumping a quarter of a million dollars into this one. Um, another store, they dumped it in. Another store, the money adds up. And so <coughs> they cut costs. Uh, last year, they cut a bunch of stores, but they left a bunch as well. So I think if they renovate all the stores like this, they're just going to be hemorrhaging money, and it's not going to do them any good. And the pro membership will not help them. Right now, it's 2020, so this is already in effect. But I used to be able to go in, use the 10%, save some money, and then go on. Now I have to go in each month or I lose $5. And to me, that may not even be worth the $15 to risk that. So I am under the assumption that I think GameStop is probably going to spend too much money and lose too much money. It's just not going to be vital for them. My real estimate of them going out of business is probably 2022 or 2023. But I want to say 2020 is the year that kills GameStop. Now, I am a fan of GameStop in a few different ways because it keeps the market kind of open. There's a retail place that you can go pick up games. Know that if you buy that game used at a discount and it doesn't work, you just return it, you get your money back, or you get another copy. Without GameStop, you don't really have a chain that's national that can do that for you. So I think that might uh, be a big deal to uh, physical collectors. It'll make games harder to find, I think, because a lot of these games, if GameStop is any telling of what they've done before, are just going to end up in the trash. And you and I both do not want that to happen. So I'm fearful when GameStop goes out of business. And I think the pro membership going down this line is just another thing that is just going to push them deeper and deeper in debt and in the hole. So I want to know what you guys think. Comment down below. What do you think about the new GameStop pro membership card? What do you think about GameStop as a whole? Just let me know. What do you think of these shelves? What do you think about the shorter one? I don't know what I'm going to do totally. I've got some empty... Um, shelving here like three um but for the most part it's full i do need to redo some of the xbox games because i think the way that they're stacked not everything will fit on these shelves so i need to rearrange a little bit but i will be keep on working on that so i want to say thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure you hit that bell notification because it lets you know when i post more videos which is every tuesday thursday and Saturday and occasionally I'll sprinkle one in on a Monday but I haven't recently just because of the holidays and whatnot so with that being said one last time thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day